guys, it's me. Um, I am here to share my exciting haul from my Mac to the Beach experience last night. Um, I went to the unveiling party and picked up a few things and thought that maybe I would share it with you ahead of time. That way, if you're trying to make decisions on what to buy um, and you see some of the stuff, you may, you know, make up, make up your mind just by seeing. Um, so either way, I'll get started. Um, I bought two lip glasses, two lipsticks, two blushes, an eyeshadow, and the highlight powder. So I'm going to get started with the highlight powder because I really think that's the most exciting of everything that came out, the most anticipated item. And that's the Marine Life Highlight Powder, and it looks like this. And it is so pretty. It's like a light pink, corally um, color, and it has this gold overspray with the seahorse. The gold overspray will go away when you swipe your, swirl your brush around. Um, but it's still going to be really pretty. I, I'm not going to swatch it for you guys because I'm, I'm not ready, and ready to ruin it yet. Which is, it's not ruining it, but I'm just, I'm not quite ready to get rid of that gold overspray. Um, the next thing I got uh, was the Sweet and Punchy eyeshadow. It is the vol it's a Velux Pearl and it's the green one. Looks like this. And I was questioning all of the eyeshadows. Two of them are permanent. Um, I have humid. Um, I don't really do matte colors, so I decided not to get the matte. And then there was Firecracker that I did swatch, and it was really pretty. But I don't do well with re deep red, orangey colors, and to me that's how it kind of came off. So of all of them, I chose this, and I'm so happy I did. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a really unique color. It's like a lemon-lime with a gold sheen to it um, with like a yellow I don't know. It's just, it's so unique. If you're, if you're not sure what eyeshadows to get and you, maybe you only want one, I definitely think that this is the one to get. And again, it's called Sweet and Punchy. Um, there's nothing, I don't feel like there's anything MAC has that I know of that even closely resembles this one. Uh, the next stuff I got was the two blushes. I got both. The first is Hipness, and it's this really pretty pink corally color. And it's classified as a frost. Both of these blushes are classified as frosts, actually. And I already have them swatched on my hand. And I'll try to show them to you, but some, for whatever reason, they don't come out well. Um, but it's, the hipness is this pink hue that you see on my hand right here, if you can see that. It's really pretty. And then underneath that, this brownish, goldish color, that is the Getaway Bronze. And it looks like this. And I questioned this blush because I wasn't sure if maybe it would be more of a bronzer, at least for my skin tone. Um, but the more I swatched it, the more golden it looked. And um, even my friend Nicole and I, when we were out last night, we kind of looked at it. And she had said that it had like a slight pink hue to it. And she's actually right. It does have a, 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 a pinkish hue to it. And it's really pretty. And I think it would be good if you're going for that bronze summery look. So... I got that, and I also think it may even be good for bron um, to use as a bronzer for contouring. Um, so I think it's very versatile rather than getting um, the cream bronzer. So that's that. And then um, I got two of the lip glasses, like I said, and two of the lipsticks. Uh, the first lip glass I got is Easy Lounger, and it is this pink color with silver glitter in it. That's kind of what it looks like um, in the tube here. It's really pretty. I don't think it's incredibly unique, but I really, I, I liked it, so. And then the second thing I got um, was this really unique lip gloss, and it's Flurry of Fun, and it's the orange lip gloss with the teal sparkle in it, and it is so pretty. And that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I was really excited about this, and I... Actually, the reason I got one of these lipsticks was because of that lip gloss. Um, I got Beach Bound, and I wasn't going to get Beach Bound because it is very sheer and it is a glaze. And it looks like this. And alone, it just adds a nice sheen to your lips. Like, it's really pretty alone, but it is very sheer, like I said. I mean, it's buildable, I would say. Um, 
But if you put Beach Bound on your lips and you put this Floria Fun over it, it's really, really pretty. Um, the MAC artist, actually, that I, we were talking to was wearing it, and I was like, oh, I love that. And we both, I think we both tried it um, at the store and both decided that we needed it. So it's, oh, I just dropped it. But either way, um, it's definitely worth it. And then the last lipstick I got um, is Thrills. And I was also very excited about this. It's just this coppery color, like a like a rose with a gold shimmer sheen to it. And I have it swatched on my hand, right, right there. And I think it's just really unique. And for me, it could be an everyday color, and it does kind of go well if you're going for the bronze look. But personally for me, I kind of thought that maybe this would be more of a fall lipstick for me because it's that deeper color and I think it would look nice with a lot of you know different eyeshadow looks because I think of the coppers and the golds and the cranberries and that type of stuff for fall and I think that this would really go nicely with that and that is it so um, we had a really good time last night um, I'm gonna include a, um, some clips of our time um, at the at the unveiling party um, I hope my video helped I Hope if you were, you know, questioning some of this stuff, maybe by seeing it, you know, you may make um, a decision, a final decision. But like me, I make like 10 different decisions before things come out. And then when they finally come out, what the decisions I made completely change. So, but either way, I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope that you liked it. And I will see you guys again in my next video. All right. Bye, guys.